What is up YouTube, XCX Solutions here, and today I'm bringing you another tutorial on how to fix Sony Vegas render problems. Now, what I mean by that is basically when you're rendering a video and it gets to a certain part or percentage during the render, say 48%, uh, complete random, and it will just either completely freeze, it will continue saying it's like rendering, but it's not, it's like stuck at that percentage, but the bar and the time uh, estimated is still uh, going up or it completely just stops responding and crashes basically now I've had all three of those things and you know I have a really high-end computer and this really shouldn't be happening so I'm not sure if it's conflicting with my CPU or what basically I just went on the internet I went on YouTube I googled I literally done everything and people you know there is some people out there that are helpful and then there's, there's some stupid uh, topics and threads and stuff so I finally figured it out and uh, it's really really easy and if you are experiencing this I recommend doing this just to see if it fixes it if it doesn't then I do apologize but it fixed it for me and uh, hopefully I can help you guys out there that are having the exact same issue so basically I'm using Vegas Pro 13 which is obviously 64 bit because I'm pretty sure they don't do a 32 bit version so um, I don't run as admin or do any of that jazz I simply just open Sony Vegas uh, a lot of people re recommend to do that, I don't, so I mean, it's entirely up to you if you want to do that. I found that when you run as admin as well, you can't drag and drop a clip into the timeline, you would have to manually import it as well, so that is one downside I think of running administrator. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go over to the options tab and go down to preferences. Now you'll see this, uh, if you're on a different version of Sony Vegas, I'm pretty sure it would be similar. The next thing you want to do is go over to video and as you can see the dynamic RAM preview is set to zero. Now by default I think it's set to 200, I'm not entirely sure because I've had it on zero for so long now but I'm pretty sure that it's set by 200 or something like that. Um, it will be a number in there, uh, if it's on zero already then you're pretty much good to go. But basically if this is 200 whoops 200 you simply want to just set it to zero uh, leave the maximum number of uh, rendering threads and the next one is GPU acceleration of video processing now I have a NVIDIA GeForce GCX 680 and basically it's a good graphics card it's kind of old but it is still a really high-end graphics card and some of you guys are obviously going to have different graphics cards I don't know if this 100% fixes the problem, but uh, again, a lot of people were saying to turn this off. I did, so I set this to zero, I turned GPU acceleration off, I hit apply, I hit OK, and it requires a restart of Sony Vegas, so I exited it, and I reopened it. After that, you can flawlessly render out videos, and uh, yeah, literally the problem was resolved just by doing that. And I didn't think this was going to work, um, I found a few things online and yeah a lot of people were saying to use it on zero and I was like well, what does this do and I'm pretty sure when you render it out the video is previewing in this preview box. Now what it does is your CPU is like uh, what do I do because basically it's trying to render the, the video and at the same time it's trying to preview this. Now for some reason my CPU doesn't like this even though I have an Intel Core i7 processor but basically it just doesn't preview it as well or it just doesn't really care about the preview screen and focuses more on the render. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Um, again, I hope I've helped you guys out. Hopefully this will fix your problem if you're having the same issue as you as I said before. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it guys. Comment, rate, subscribe and all that good stuff and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.